Hello and welcome back to the Pharmacy Rich channel. My name is Bill and I will continue the Medicare video series today. As you remember, last time I already talked about Medicare Part A and Medicare Part B, and today I'm gonna talk about Medicare Part D and Medicare Part C. Okay, so D first. So what does Medicare Part D cover? So it's very easy to remember as D ten for drug. So Medicare Part D, they cover most of your prescription medication. Medicare Part D, they are provided by the private insurance companies who contract with Medicare plan, and the plans offer based on your location, the residency, or your zip code. Okay, and each Medicare Part D plan, they differ in the monthly premium, deductibles, co-payment, co-insurance, formulary, and pharmacy network. I know it's a little bit uh, hard to understand on this terminology, so I will explain to you in detail in the next slide. Okay, and the annual open enrollment is every year is from the uh, October 15 to December 7. So as you remember, Medicare Part D is not included in the basic coverage. Okay, so this is something that you have to enroll when you're eligible for the Medicare. And most of the patient, I will, I will say that, or I will highly recommend you to enroll in a Medicare Part D when you're eligible for Medicare. Some patients they are very healthy, right? They don't take any medication. However, if you don't enroll in the Medicare Part D when you first eligible for it, and you enroll it later, for example, like five years later or ten years later, you will pay penalty for it. And I'm not gonna go into detail how much will you pay. It depend on how delay do you enroll in a Medicare Part D. But just know that the the later you enroll Medicare Part D, the higher up the premium you will pay. Okay. So, and every year, every year we have an open enrollment for those who already have Medicare Part D to enroll, to re-exam, to re-exam whether their current Medicare Part D is the best for them. And usually every year during this period, Pharmacy Rich is very busy. We have, we have a lot of uh, clients and patients to pick out the best Medicare Part D um, for them. So if you would like us to do that for you, it's completely free. Just give us a phone call. And I, um, I put the uh, contact information of Pharmacy Rich in the description below. All right. So the next, the next slide. This slide I'm gonna talk about the Medicare Part D terminology. So you have a um, basic understanding what we, um, what you look at when you choose a Medicare Part D. Okay. So premium, premium is the monthly payment of your Medicare Part D plan, and they usually take out of your social security if you enroll in one. Deductible, deductible is the amount of money that you need to pay before the insurance kit in and pay for you. Symbol, right? And um, initial coverage is the phase that um, the insurance cover for you the most. So just understand that after the deductible, you will have the initial coverage phase, which is the insurance will pay for you the most. And then after a certain uh, a spending limit is reached, they you will fall into a coverage gap with we call a, do a donut hole. We will call a donut hole. And um, in this phase, suddenly the insurance pay you a little bit less than they should pay you all right so instead of paying a co-payment a co-payment which is the fixed amount of money for any particular medication for example if you take a high blood pressure medication like lisinopril you pay like ten dollar that's on you pay right ten dollar but the call insurance you will pay a percentage of the cost of the medication. Again, for example, if you if the lisinopril, I know that's a very inexpensive medication, very cheap medication, but it 
just for um, easy to understand. Okay, for example, the Lysina Brew, if they cost one hundred dollar, right, instead of a co-payment of ten dollar, if you pay the co-insurance, which is twenty five percent, you're gonna pay twenty five dollar, right? So. Um, during the coverage gap and donut hole, you cannot pay the co-payment anymore. You have to start paying the co-insurance. So the amount of money you pay for your medication can go up, or it can stay the same. It depend on your again. It depend on your um, Medicare Part D plan. And then when you get over the donut hole, you will come to the catastrophic coverage. In this phase. The insurance gonna kick in again, and they pay for most of your expenses. So, what drug does Medicare Part D does not cover? I know um, there's a lot of medication in this slide, but I just, if you can uh, remember, I want you to remember that the Medicare Part D they do not cover over the counter medication. I know there's a lot of patient. A lot of clients that they take uh, supplement or they take vitamin and uh, they buy it over the counter. Medicare Part D do not cover for it. Okay. And we have another other medication here, is like an anorexia, weight loss, uh, cosmetic, and uh, medication used for symptomatic relief like cough and cold. The Medicare Part D won't cover won't cover those. Prescription. All right. Next one. So I, as I promised in the last video, I'm gonna. This is the table compare Medicare Part B and Medicare Part D. What um, immunization uh, Medicare Part D cover? So um, again, Medicare Part B they cover like flu vaccine, Prenax, um, Pneumovax, and um, they cover hepatitis, but it's just some particular situation and tetanus. And Medicare Part D, they cover on commercially available vaccine that are not covered by Medicare Part B, or in the other word, they cover everything else except watch cover under Medicare Part B. Okay, so they cover most importantly the shingle vaccine, the Jotevax. They uh, already stopped uh, producing the Jotevax, so now you already have the shingle vaccine, uh, called Syngrix. On uh, the sh the Shingris one, so the Justavax they already stopped produce it. Um, the Shingris now is the the drug the vaccine of choice when you come for the shingle shot, and then they uh, cover for the uh, um, DTaP vaccine and the uh, hepatitis. I'm sorry, the uh, the TDAP and the hepatitis. So that's all about the Medicare Part D. And we come to the last part, which is the Medicare Advantage or Medicare Part C. You will see a lot of commercial on the TV, the television. They talk about all oh, uh, enrolled in the Medicare Advantage. You have a lot more benefit than Medicare Part A and B. And sometimes, sometimes they give you even more cover because, as I mentioned, Medicare Part C is just like a combination of A, B, and most of the time Medicare Part D. For example, like a Tough Medicare Advantage or Blue Cross Blue Shield Medicare Advantage, and this uh, Medicare Part C again they provided by the private insurance company. And as you remember, Medicare Part A and Medicare Part B they do not cover some of the services like dental co. Uh, dental coverage or hearing aid, Medicare Part C. They do some some Medicare Part C. They do cover um, the dental coverage, and they give you a lot more option to choose. And um, it's just another way for you to get your Medicare Part A, B, and D coverage. All right, and this is on the reference. That I have for Medicare Part A, B, and C. So I know that is a lot of information, but as I just want to summarize real quick. So Medicare Part A for inpatient, right? Medicare Part B is for outpatient uh, services and drug. Medicare Part D, they cover most of your prescription medication, and Medicare Part C is the combination of A, B, and most of the time D. If you have any other question, 
comment concern please leave it uh, in the uh, comment section below and i will come back with uh, another uh, video series soon again my name is bill take care and stay safe